written many topics regarding to Python, right? Basics of Python. Have you guys understand the yesterday's topic? Do you have any doubts regarding last class? Okay, let's revise what we have learned just for five minutes. What is Python? Like Python definition, we have covered uh, Python, who has uh, invented Python and what was its history? and the versions of Python and whereas how the Python name has taken and where what are the features of Python applications of Python and where we use Python in present which companies are using Python or which places are using Python we have gone through that right like YouTube Netflix And we've gone through installation for installation of Python. Guys, will are you are you can you hear me? Guys, can you hear me? Guys, respond. Can you hear me?
Guys, can you hear me? Is it audible? It's your choice. If you have any doubt, just tell me. Before I get into new topic, I'll be clearing all, all of those doubts. You have to practice. Uh, you have to do make it like you have to practice the Python practically without you not only Python you can't get any coding language without practicing. Actually we get lots of doubts when we are practicing. All right. We have talked about single line comments, multi line comments, and dog comments, right? And even Python keywords are also we have completed. We have 35 keywords. And we know about the version of Python that is uh, current version is Python 11 for the current version. And we talked about variable, right? Guys, have you remembered all this? We talk about the uh, local variable, global variable yesterday in yesterday's class. Next. Today we have to, we'll be getting, getting into data types. Before getting into data types, with the installation of Python, Practically, I'll show you how to uninstall the previous one and how to install the how how to install the new version. Before getting into data types, let's see how to install and uninstall Python. How to know about the versions of Python. Just open command prompt. You can type CMD, you will be displaying with this. Search for Python. Python, click on enter. You will get the version of Python. You can see on the screen. Guys, it is, is it visible and audible? Python 11.5. 11.5. Everything is recording, recorded here. I'll be getting to know. Who was making unwanted disturbances over here and there? Everything is recorded. You have to face lots of consequences if you do so. If you don't, if you are not interested, just don't join the class or else you can leave. I don't have any issue. It's up to you. You can see here there is a, a Python uh, Python version 3.11.5 was installed in Python. Now let's 
uninstall python you can shout for the day long you can shout for the class um like uh, up to 8 30 i'll be staying like this i don't have an issue shout it's up to you Why the hell you are making all kind of noise? I don't understand. All these kind of noises were not acceptable. It's up to you. I'll be simply telling to myself and I'll be going. No need to explain the whole topics, right? If you guys want to listen to class, you can listen or else you can leave. This is the only thing I can tell you. Just don't make stupid noises. Just to uninstall Python, which was already installed in my PC, like in my laptop. I'm going to uninstall it. For uninstalling what we do is let's go to control panel click on programs we'll be getting here i go i have two versions which were installed in my laptop currently one is python 3.0 7.1 whereas one is python 3.11.5 click on this this is how we uninstall the program just double tap we'll get we'll be getting uninstalled any kind of application will be uninstalled like this. It will not be, it may take few minutes of time. 
this is how uh, the program gets uninstalled. I think you got the process. First, you have to check which version of Python is on your PC or laptop. After that, you have to check how you have to uninstall the Python by using uh, control panel. By using control panel, you can uninstall the Python versions if you want to install any new version or if there is no new version installed the upcoming process should be taken into taken into consideration we'll be seeing further once it got uninstalled we can go with the other installation process I was looking simply. I know what to do with you. Okay, let's see whether it is uninstalled. Yeah, it was uninstalled successfully. Let's uninstall some other version of Python, which is Python 11.5. Until then, let us go through the topics which we have learned yesterday. Just see the installation process once again. You can see here, like just we just open the browser and type Python downloads. We'll get the official website. We'll download the Python from Python ORG platform and we just select the first click. We can download the latest version of Python, not only 11.3. Click on customize installation and Python extension file will be appear. Next. You can you have to check all check all the advanced option after installing just close it. Just see let us see how it works. Once it is uninstalled, you can go through it.
you guys all know right uh, python function is used to display the output on the console right like which is used to display the output is said to be a python like function python function i mean print function sorry It may take some time. have seen many codes yesterday right let's get into data types topic let's understand what is data types there are six types of data types number string deck set tuple and list actually what we mean data type data type is a basically the type of data that you are trying to store in python i think you got it like right? data type represents different kinds of data which which is stored in a variable right so there are six six kinds of data types we have numeric like that is numbers string date set and list and tuple let's go ahead and understand each of these data types so the first data type is the numeric data type so as the name suggests the numeric data type it's used to store the numeric values and now you need to know the different types of numeric data type that is integer complex number and float number now let me help you to understand with an example that we have example for, for example we have 5 which is equal to like a is equals to 5 or a is equals to some 10 something is like right now a is the variable which is which means that it is the name and that the value of 1 pass to it is the name of the value that i going to pass it like you can see here for example let's take a equals to 10 <coughs> it will show automatical like if you just type it is a type of integer right 10 is a type of integer right if you i have shown you how to check out the type in srs programming like if you want to if you want any print type if you use print type of variable a then you will be getting the type of what type it what type the 10 uh, a variable consists of that's how it works i think it it got uninstalled okay 
Okay, it was successfully installed. Now let's install a new one. By just typing, searching for Python downloads, you will get the original page of Python. Just open it and click on download Python. You will be getting Python will be getting download. Download it. Double tap. Customize in installation. Just click on customize installation. Just check all where take download. Next. Just mark. Uh, just tick all the boxes, all the check boxes. Just check the path where you want to install Python. Select the path. I'll be creating a new folder. Click on install. Python 3.11.5 is installing. Take some time, just some two to three minutes. We'll just in install every file, right? Which we need for our desktop. In the same way, we have to install Python. Now let's continue with data types. We are in numeric data type, right?
guys do you know about any kind of data types here i think you will be aware of data types because uh, you will be finding them in other programming languages also data types uh, how can we classify data types is that um, just like we go to some grocery store or any shopping mall right how they arrange the products like all tea powders aside all cool drinks aside on one side they all vegetables at one side and all uh, snacks or any kind of napkins all all are one side that's how we organize in data types also all integers in, into one box all numbers into one box all strings in string values that is letters into one thing whereas float values that is like uh, point values like decimal values onto one side and complex numbers which come which consist of imaginary part and real part those numbers at one side this is how they are arranged and boolean part where when when we comes to boolean part it is like true or false statements kind of thing where it may consist of zeros and ones it may say like uh, we may we can say that as true or false it consists of true or false statements or it can which consist of zeros and ones so this is how the class question will be taken place just like normal grocery stores or some makeup stores or something which were arranged in a, in a sequence or which were arranged in a set of in at one place all common things will be arranged at one place thought of telling the installation process fast but it was taking lots of time for installation because maybe network is slow okay let's close the tab let's check what was the installation we have done here like what we uh, does it installed or not let's check with the command prompt just type python you can see python 11.5 has installed you can see here right this is how it will show we'll get the version when we install python if we, if you gonna check in command prompt you will be getting to know like python was installed or python is there any kind of what kind of version is there in our desktop this is how you can know now let's just close this now just type ideally already i have shown you this
you will get a page like this, which looks like a notepad page. <coughs> Just write any kind of program and hit write any print statement just hit on run you'll get all these options you can run through module or shell you can even use many platforms like jupyter pycharm or any um, online compilers even sometimes some people will be running in notepad too And you can run through IDLE or Python shell. It's an, like it can be run through any kind of source. It doesn't. It's so and and also it's an open source, right? Next, let's. Run a program. We are in data types, right? I just gonna I just wanna show you practically. That's why I have installed Python now. Let's write some program like int. Uh, I'll tell you. Let's take some uh, before getting into it. You can see here we do not need any specify like we don't need to specify the data type of the program like we can get the data type just automatically no need of writing it is an int or float or take or type of data we call there is no need of mentioning them and it's a dynamically typed as we know python is a dynamically typed language this is what I have told you. For example, let's take this program. Just open ideally. Not come. See this program. Let's run it. This is the idea. Print a let's take a equals to some <coughs> language. print type
A. Just hit on run. Before running the program, what we get is we have to save the program. I'll be creating a new folder. Name CMRIT. Easy. Open. So now finding so. in type A. You can see here we got printer with a string class because we got data type as string because language is a string which was returned in the format of like double quotes. We'll be getting it as a string. Let's take some 58. Don't. Learn how to save it. You go the type of 58 with it, it is int. You can see here, right? This is how we get the data type of the variable. Where variable is used for some reusability purpose, we can use in any in, in the whole program. As we have know about uh, local variable and global variable, right? Local variable will be only used in, pri in used privately up to some extent, and global variable is used publicly, like it can be used after, after like outside of the program also, like outside of the function. I mean, next getting into integer. Like you can see, like uh, integer is nothing but the numbers it, which was written in the form of numbers. Uh, it can be of any length, there's no issue. Because you can see here only the, the number format will be taken as an integer. It does not contain any, uh, like what can I tell you, might, may, might be it is whole numbers or it is natural numbers, it's nothing except decimal form. It will be considered as they will be considered as integers. As I have told you, this program, when let's 
let's go get into the float. Float concept. I have told you that float is just used for just getting some decimal for decimal numbers. In float, float only consists of decimal numbers. Let's check how it works. Let's take let's open ideally. Let's check how it works. Let's take some number forty three point zero nine 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 eight seven or something. Just hit on run. Yeah, you can see here, right? What the type of the variable it is. It's a float. If I give integer in this, if I give integer, how it prints. It is printed as int. It depends on the type of the variable you give, type of the data type you give. Because we'll be getting the exact type of the variable which we are giving to it. But string format should be written only in quotation marks. It does not, it can't, it will not, it should not be written without quotation marks because it, it will not be considered as a string until and unless you write it, write it in the quotation marks. Next, next topic. It's about complex. When we come into complex, here we have two types, I mean two, type, two types of numbers will be taken into consideration where let's take X and Y. Here we can see the definition right. An, an integrate number which contains an arranged pair that is X plus I, V, Y. Uh, X plus I, V, Y here, I, V, Y is an imaginary part where X and Y signifies the genuinely and non-extend path separately. The complex numbers like 2.14j and 2.0 plus 2.3j, 2 etc. Like here what happens is that it consists of two parts. One is imaginary part and the other part is uh, real part where well, these numbers are considered only in some calculations like scientific calculations this will not be considered in many of the terms you can see here passing single parameter we use like a equals to complex one for passing two parameters we use one and two parameters is nothing but the numbers For displaying result, we use string J and print B. This is how we write the program. You can see. I'll be writing some sort of program here. Just it's just like um, we'll write some float numbers, right? We'll call it as complex as complex float. 
which is a co combination of complex number plus float number. 4.6 shape. You can see here, we'll be getting a complex number. It was printed as complex. The imaginary part should, it will be containing the real part. Real part is 4 and imaginary part is 6. 6 J, I mean. This is how it works. <coughs> Boolean type. Boolean type is like, uh, it consists of true and false statements. Like true and false, false default, uh, the default value as true and false also as considered, uh, considered as one and one or zero. If you try the same thing as true here, you'll be getting the Boolean type. To get to know some, uh, get to know the Boolean type, you can get it by just a minute. I don't know guys why you are exiting from the meeting. All right. Let's check the boolean type. Let's false. Let's run it. Hit on run. Sorry, I haven't just it on the because it's a predefined keyword. As we have studied about keywords, right? It's a predefined keyword. So here in Python, there, there is a difference between uppercase and lowercase letters. As I have told you before, it is a case sensitive. This is how we, it throws an error. If we done any mistake, it shows and it, it throws an error. Next, let's get into string. Well, string is a sequence of characters which were written in quotation marks. And it can be used to describe the string by using single, double, or triple quotes. As I told you, it should be written only in the form of in quotation marks, where it consists of where it consists of any kind of data. Like you can see here, string may consist of numerical type or else it should be, uh, sorry, in string there is no numerical type. It, 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 it must consist of only letters, like alphabets, only alphabets that could be uppercase or lowercase. Let's check this code. As I have told you how to pin the string, I think there is no need to go with this again, alright, but no need of taking this, already we have a code, right, just run with that, let's take string. Let me take students.
he turns on. You can see here students were displayed as a string. String can be written not only in double quotes, it can be written in single quotes and triple quotes also. Or triple quotations. This is how it works. Next, let's get into let's Python list. <coughs> when it comes to list, it is similar to arrays. In Python, we don't have arrays. We have separate module called NumPy, which works with arrays. It's a numerical Python, where NumPy is called a numerical Python. It's a module which consists of array. When compared to list, arrays are a bit faster. So we use array, but in Python it does not support arrays concept, so we are using list here. But upcoming classes you will be gonna you're gonna learn that modules in the upcoming classes in advanced topic. Before getting into them, let's know about what is list. It is like similar to array. Uh, where list contain different types of data. They are just separated by some comma. And it was written in the square braces. You can see here it, it is written in the square braces. This is the difference between uh, array and a uh, array and the list. Let's see how it works. on the module. You can see here we got list of characters printed here by the class list by the name class list. You can see here right this is how list works. We can write any type of data, we can insert any type of data in this, but it should be separated. The only two rules is it should be separated by comma, whereas it should be uh, consist of some square brackets. It should consist of some square braces, whereas it should be separated with some comma. That's the only that's the thing you have to remember while writing the list. Next. Let's get into tuple. <coughs> list, it is similar to list in Python, but what happens is the only difference we'll be getting with tuple and list is uh, it is an ordered set. Everything will be arranged in an order, either it is deciding or an assigning order. Even in list, we arrange the elements in an order. And one more thing, uh, list is list is not a mutable type. Like it can be changed. It is changeable. 
I mean, tuple is changeable, list is not changeable. Where both consist of index type, they can be, uh, we can do some indexing for list and tuple. And also list and tuple will be accepting duplicate values. Like we can see now, let's write some 10 here. We don't run. You can see here like 10 was displayed twice. It allows duplicate. We'll be getting into list again. Once after we have completed data types, we'll be getting in detail with the list. <coughs> and tuple consists of some normal parentheses. As you can see, it's a normal parenthesis. And also, uh, it consists of same procedure, it consists of all kinds of data types. Let's just, we don't need to change anything in this code. We just need to change the parenthesis so that it will be turned into tuple. You can see here tuple is displayed. The only difference is braces and this cannot be changeable but tuple can be changeable. Like we can insert, we can uh, delete, we can append, we can do anything with that tuple. We can't do any modifications in the list. That's the disadvantage of, of the list. Next. Dict. A dictionary is a key value pair set arranged in an order. It is it is nothing but it's a, it's not so big deal. It is nothing but it can be arranged in either assigning or designing order. may be assigning or designing order, it can be arranged. This is the type of one of the data types. Let's see this program. Dictionary is like we used to uh, have some thing which was which consists of everything right we used to have some English dictionaries normal language dictionaries used to be there right in the same way we use kind of dictionaries like we'll store the values it consists of some values Let's open this.
just run this code. I have already saved my code, right? That's why. There's no need of saving the code all the time because I have already saved my code in the first first time. Okay, so let's run this code. You can see here name Sham. Well, age is 21. Was printed here. Like what we have written as the print statements are print A, we want the variable to be printed. Whereas we want the type of the variable that is print type A, where we want to get the age of the person so that we got <coughs> the age of the person as 21. We have stored the value in the text and we got the value we, we can get the return value as 21. This is how it works. Dictionary. It is nothing but dictionary. Where let's come into the topic of list. Before getting into the list, let's know the difference between set, dictionaries, list, and tuple. Here I told you before like list is written in the braces format where tuple is written in uh, list is written in the square braces where tuple is written in the parenthesis type where set is used to define with plural brackets that that is nothing but curly braces where even dictionaries can be written in curly braces. Set and dictionaries can be written in the form of curly braces, like you can see here. Right? It is displayed in curly braces. Even in set, it's not mentioned here. Even in set, here it is set. We displace in curly braces. Where when when we come into list and tuple, in list we just displace them in the square brackets. Where in tuples we displace the values in parentheses. And when we come into order, like how the set will be arranged. Let's see. We haven't gone through set, right? Let's see this program. just hit on run you can see it is a set ankit 56.7 and 20 was printed just what we gave and the type was printed but if we run again
you can see the difference, right? I think you haven't noticed. Like you can see what we have written here. 20 in the first place, where 56.7 on the second place and Nankis on the third place. What we got displayed here is 56.7 in the first place, Ankit and 20. Where you can see here 56.7 in the first place and 20 and Ankit. The positioning of the like ordering of the element will be changed in set. The set will not be like set will not be in the same position. Like the, the ordering of the elements will be changed always. Whenever you run the program again and again, the order of the elements will be changed. The position of the elements will be changed. This is one of the drawback of set. <coughs> and set is not changeable. Once you start on checking for the set, it cannot be changeable. Like we, we can change uh, list, right? In the same that way, we can't change the set. So list is a changeable format, right? We cannot change the set, whereas it is not index. Set does not have any indexing or any kind of slicing. And set also will not allow any kind of duplicates. Set will not allow any kind of duplicate values. When we come to dictionary, like where is dictionary? Let's take tuple for, for a while. <coughs> tuple is an order, but it is not changeable. Like we do, we can't do any append, insert, extend or delete options in tuple. Where it is having index property. And also it allows duplicate values. As I have showed you before, like if we insert 10 or some any kind of value for multiple times it will take the value it will be considering the state considering the value in output also you'll get the value in output and that's all about tuple let's go to dictionary in dictionary, we just write in curly braces. We just enter the elements in curly, curly, curly braces. Where here uh, it is ordered page. Let's see whether it is an ordered page or not. I'll show you. Run. You can see here. Name Sha May 21. I think there is no change. You can see here. Name Sha Age and 21. Age is 21, like name is Sha. There is no change, right? Let's run it again. You can see here. There is no change, right? We got change. Uh, in, in, we, there is no change in order, right? In set, we got change in its order. Like you can see here, you can observe 57.5 Ankit 20, where 56.7 20 Ankit. It will not be same once we run, once we run again and again. The same code will not, it will not be, it will not generate the same output if we run again and again. But in dictionary, it, it was not like that. It, it can be, it cannot be. It will be displaying the same output always, and also uh, it does not. It is changeable. Where it can be appended or it can be inserted. 
with some elements it can be stored like it can be in uh, indexed the only disadvantage of dict is it will not allow any kind of duplicates let's see how it works can see here <coughs> you can see here it does not allow any kind of duplicate values it will be only showing this if there is any duplicates it's considered it as a one let's take some kind of 31 run this module you can see it has taken 31 why it has taken 31 because it will take only the latest value. It will consider the latest value. It will not take the first value which we, we have given. We, it will take the latest value which we have entered after the first value. This is how it works. This is, this is how it works. Next, let's get into... <coughs> Sorry. list i have told you let's talk this list about list later you can see here list is a data structure which is also called a collection of items in which we can store anything like string float integer as i have told you before right and this is how the format will store the data items like in some square brackets and we have a note here like we write the items of the list inside square braces as I have told you and each item is separated by comma even this point I have told you before where here duplicates are allowed and it's immutable in nature mutable is nothing but changeable it can be changeable where example I have already showed you before. Uh, we use list function to create a list. For creating any kind of list, we use list function. Let's get into list indexing. It's not normal indexing. It is similar. It's list indexing. In this kind of indexing, there's no need of object. In indexing, what we do is, we do indexing from zero, there is negative and positive indexing. Indexing is nothing but if it searches an element by its index number. We will be indicating a number with for every element, 
which was present here like indexing starts with zero and it it may be like zero book may be one 17.67 is two it will be continue up to n this is the format list works so here if we enter the index value of the element will be it will be generating the uh, element which we want to get like which we are searching for or else if you want to if you search for the element it can provide you the uh, index number of the element which at which position it is located let's see how it works <coughs> sorry let's take this list let's get the index of three like we consider it as zero one two and three we used to have to get pen right let's run the program Less one dot index. A little error in this code, and we're sorting it out. it is not considering let me check it was throwing an error when I was Oh, sorry. I'm really sorry. I won't 
third element like 17.67 so let's run the module you can see here its position is 2 I'm sorry I was like just confused I'm really sorry this is how we get like if we enter the per, um, if we enter the name of any kind of element, we'll be getting the value of that uh, index position of that element, like which position it has set in. You can see uh, indexing starts with <coughs> let's write that the comment indexing that is like positive indexing starts with two one two like zero one two three Four, up to so on up to n, num n numbers like n elements if and in case of negative indexing in case of negative indexing what happens is that Negative indexing will be done from the right side. Like true is minus one. Minus one. Minus two, comma, minus three, up to so on, up to n. Negative indexing will be starts on starts from the right side. <coughs> Whereas positive indexing indexing will be done from left side. You can see here, right? Let me enter. True. Let's see what it displays. Just run the program. You can see here it displays zero. Now it was considering very let's take. It was a string, right? I have to write in columns, like quotations. Now, we'll get the position as 3. It is 0, 1, 2, Three. 
which is how we get. Whereas true value is taken as zero, it, it has taken it as a Boolean condition here. So it is considered as zero. There's no issue with that. If we write some one here, let's see what it displays. I think you got to know what the concept is. Just run. And negative indexing and this positive indexing will be telling you in the upcoming topics. It's enough for the list. Like only one kind of indexing is enough in list concept. It is only up to this. In upcoming topics, you will be getting some 3D, 3D indexing or multiple 4-dimensional four, four index, indexing. You will be getting that. <coughs> you have seen that position, right? One position is 0. It has printed 0. Alright. Let's get into slicing. Even in here we can just a minute I'll show you something Let's go with the slicing concept. Slicing concept is nothing but it's that or it has three functions like three three steps. One is start, stop, and step. <coughs> start is the index of the list where slicing starts it is the, it where it starts we have to give it a command like it was starting at 0th position or 2nd position like that stop is the index of the list where slicing ends like where should we end it should be like 4 or 3 or something where should we end we have to give the give it, give the number to the uh, compiler or that Python console have to like start in, uh, we have to give start starting value and the stopping value ending value step is nothing but <coughs> sorry step is nothing but we have to enter the range like if we want to skip two elements in between we just write two if we want to end, uh, skip three elements we'll write three like you're gonna see here now you can see here i have entered one that is Ankit. <coughs> I to I should get up to ten point ten point six. Like Ankush will not be printed. It considers um, stop value uh, to minus one. Like if we give four, we get only three up to three values will be generated if we give five it will be generating fourth fourth up to fourth value this is how it works let's run the program
sorry. You can see here, Ankit true and 10.6 is printed. As I told you, right, 1 is to 4. That is 0. 10th position is 0. Whereas Ankit position is 1. True is 2. 10.6 is 3. And Ankush is 4. This is how it works. I want from 0 at position to 4th position with let's take step two step I said start stop and step step is two I hit on run let's see what happens we got ten and true why because it has taken it has zero position is ten and we got second position is true. Have we got it? I hope you got it. Next, let's take let's take its position as three. Just hit on run. I want zero to three. See here, then Ankit and true. This is what we got. You can see, I want the third position, right? I will not, uh, here you can see, 10 Ankit and true was printed. This is how it works. I hope it is clear, right? It's all for it's all for today. Let's get into count, index, and insert pop and other topics of list on the next class, which is held on Monday. You can, do you have any doubts? You can ask me now. If you guys have any doubts, you can ask me now. Your mics were turned off. You can ask me any doubt if you have any doubts. I'll be clarifying them. Guys, have you understood today's class? Only one has understood the class, I think. No other have understood the class. Do you have any doubts? If you have any doubts, just respond in question and answer box. Starting the discussion. Any doubts? If you don't want to say, like if you don't want to speak on, you can text me there. If you have any doubts, I'll be clearing, clearing to you in the next class. Or if it is possible, I'll be doing it now. Thank you guys. Just, stay, uh, just down your hands. Because I'll be getting to know whether you, whether you are following me or 
not. No doubts, right? All right. I'll be closing the session for today and we will be meeting in the next class. See you. Have a good day. Guys, you can leave the class now.